welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my first Valentine's Day look for 2018. And if you can guess by the red background, it's going to be a red look. So I'm going to start off with the eyes first today, I think, just because like the last few times I've done my face first and then I've done my eyes later, like it just gets a whole bunch of fallout on my face and it's just very irritating and I don't feel like dealing with that today. So I'm going to try it the reverse way today. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with my Bare Minerals Prime Time. So next I'm going to use my NYX Color Correcting Palette because I want to cancel out all the redness, all the darkness, and get rid of the visible veins in my eyelids so that the um, eyeshadow can really, really poke through and really be vibrant. So I'm just going to apply it with my fingers and I'm going to use a mixture of the yellow and this peach color. Got it under my nail! Ugh, I hate it when that happens. Damn it. Alright, so now I'm going to set the eyelid so that the cream won't crease with my CoverGirl translucent powder that is broken and it's, it's, I'm sorry. My life is kind of a mess, so I had to tape it together because it was cracked open. Anyway, I'm going to set my eyelid with this, so I'm just going to kind of bake my eyelid. Alright, so before I move on to eyeshadow, I'm going to do my eyebrows first. And I'm just going to do something quick with them today because I don't feel like taking the time to fill them in the way I have been normally. And I also have a video on that, it's on my channel already. I'll put the link over here, over, over here, somewhere. I'll put the link. Ooh, look at them brows. Mm-hmm. All right, so on to eyeshadow. So I'm going to use the Day to Night palette for the eyeshadow. And since I'm going for a red look, I'm going to start off with this red shade. And I'm just going to keep my eyes in, like, this area right here. So, like, basically this row is what I'm going to be using. So I'm starting off with the fluffy brush. That's what I, this is the kind of brush I like to use for my transition shades, for blending everything out, because it's just so fluffy and it fits really well with the shape of my eye and the size of my eye. And I'm just building up the color. So doing a little bit at first, and making it a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper. For blending, I really like to use circular motions combined with the side to side sweep like that because I find that it blends really well if you do it in circular motions as opposed to just side to side. So I'm going to deepen up that color a little bit with this like shimmery brownish red color. And I'm just going to place it right underneath where I put that red. So you can see the difference. See how much deeper it is? And to deepen it up even further, I'm going to use this purple color in that row. And I'm using my favorite brush for getting right up into the crease because it's this skinny fluffy brush. So it really like it gets right up in there and it makes it really easy to blend out. Then I'm going back into the red and just merging the two colors together, or three colors. Alright, so on to the actual lid color. I'm using this gold color in here. And I'm gonna make it a little bit more pigmented by spraying my brush first with um, some setting spray.
Okay, so I feel like this needs a little bit more sparkle. So I'm gonna use this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art, the bronze one. At least I think it's bronze. Is it? Burnish Bling. Burnish Bling, that's what it's called. Keeping it right where I put that gold shadow. And I'm gonna keep my head tilted back like this until it dries because I don't want it to dry with um, the creases in it. All right, so it's pretty much dry, so I'm gonna move on to my under eyes. And I'm going to pick up that shimmery red like we used before and just run it underneath my eye line. And then I'm gonna take that purple color and Pop it right above that red. All right, so I'm gonna put on my lashes now and these are really, really terrible to look at, but look. Anyway, it's the Kiss Lashes and they are this Looks So Natural KFL02 with tapered ends. And it looked a lot better, you know, when I bought it, but I don't take care of my things very well. So, I'm gonna apply these off camera because there's no way I can do it on camera, just, no. Lashes are on, so I'm just gonna add some mascara, which is the, I don't know, what is this, L'Oreal? Is this L'Oreal? Why didn't it have the, the name of the company on the package? I don't understand. Oh, they have it in very, very small letters. It's L'Oreal Volumin... Vo I can't talk today, man. L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Duo Mascara. So it comes with the primer, which I didn't use. That side. And then the actual mascara, which I did use. So I'm just going to pop some on my lower lash line. I'm not going to do any eyeliner because I wanted to keep it a pretty open look. It just gives you a little bit of drama on the bottom. To add some more drama and some more darkness along the lash line and make my eyelashes look even fuller, I'm gonna use my Lakme India Iconic Pencil. It's my favorite eyeliner ever. And it's really cheap, it's only like a dollar, but that's because it's in India. Now that that is done, I can move on to the face. Okay, almost done. All right, now I need some highlight card. What shall I use? All right, I think I'm just gonna use my Rude Highlighting Shimmer Trio. And I'm gonna use Naughty. I don't know, this has just been like my go-to recently. Actually, we gonna switch it up. I'm gonna use Brassy instead. I'm just gonna use my little fan brush. It's not too pigmented, but I want it to be more pigmented, so I'm going to spray my brush. So spraying it with setting powder, or with setting spray, it's kind of like wetting your brush, or sometimes I would just like lick my brush and then dip it, and it, it creates more of, um, it's not a powder anymore, it's more of like a cream product so like you can do that for highlighters you can use it for eyeshadows you can do the same thing with oil just a tiny tiny bit of like a dry oil um, just to get it to be a little bit more pigmented and actually stay on the skin a little bit better I'm also gonna use this on my brow bone all right so for lips I'm gonna use the Maybelline Color Blur in 
Plum and the Clean Color Matley Matte Lip Gloss in 1615. And I'm going to use the Maybelline first to outline my lips because I'm going to do like a, a little bit of a gradient lip kind of sort of. I'm not really sure what it is called, but you'll see when I do it. Anyway, so I'm going to align my lips with this darker color first. Alright, so that's all lined up. <laughs> lined up. And I'm just gonna add this lip gloss right in the center and get it on my teeth. Actually, I'm gonna put it all over the lip. Alright, and that is the completed look. Alright guys, so that's the completed look. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that maybe you guys will test this out for Valentine's Day. If you do, comment below. If you liked it, comment below. If you liked it, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. All that good stuff. Alright, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!